All right. Is there any tuition help or is it just straight? You're going to get your money, but you could use it for tuition. You can, uh, th that money is yours and you get to decide what you'd like to do with it. I see a lot of people, um, you know, take, you, they put that towards, uh, their schooling. Sometimes they put it towards the books. Other people kind of squirrel it away. They put it in their savings account and just let it build up over time. Uh, maybe you're comfortable with taking out loans and paying them off later, or yeah. maybe you have a scholarship that you're already on. Um, that's another benefit of it. It, th this opportunity allows for a lot of flexibility within finances, especially as a college student, not only are you making a lot of money uh, compared to what a normal college kid would if they're working at McDonald's or Taco Bell or anything like that, um, you're making real hard money and you're able to compound that with another job or an internship that may be paid or unpaid. It takes a lot of that financial burden off of uh, a student who may be thinking about where's the money coming for, or where's the money coming from for my next semester. Okay, so let me ask you this question. If I go into the program and let's say my junior year, I want to get out of the program, I would assume I have to owe you the money back. Is there, is there, like, could I end up as an enlisted man in the Navy or like what happens, what happens if, if I get to the end and I graduate and I try to say, oh, I don't want to go nuke power. So in that situation, um, as much as we'd like to avoid that, the Navy is going to, because it's a contract, uh, there are certain stipulations. Yep. Um, it, it varies based on the person, the situation. Um, you know, sometimes people just, you know, don't do well in their last year of school or something. And in that case, uh, the Navy will find a way in, uh, to allow you to pay back your time, whether that be enlisting and becoming a nuclear, um, uh, a nuclear machinist mate or something like that. The, there are other programs out there to help you get through that. Um, in very rare instances, I have heard of people actually paying all the money back up front. So. Okay. So, so we want to make sure that somebody that's looking at this program is serious, understands that we're going to go in the Navy. Is it four-year term in the Navy or a five? Four-year four term. Uh, you have a four-year run uh, in the Navy. Mm -hmm. so yep. Just, so, go ahead. Just so everybody understands, like you're going to start as an ensign. You're going to get new nuclear pay. You get hazardous duty pay too once you get in. Once you get in and you are mm -hmm. um, working with, uh, those are, uh, depending on your billet and where you are, whether yep. you're on shore duty or uh, sea duty, that hazardous pay is there um, it, if it warrants it. Yep. And so you're going to get a bunch of money there. You're going to be in the 01 in the Navy. Two years later, you're going to make 02 and your paycheck's going to double. So you're looking to get out at four years. If you stayed in, you know, another month later, you probably make 03. Um, the money's real. You know, I tell everybody when I was in the military, I was rich. Uh, my house payment was like $800 a month. I had two people living there paying $500 each. And then I was making $3,700 or $2,700 every two weeks with no bills. So, you know, it's a great ride. I tell everybody if, if you need money for college, like this sounds like the best program in the world if you're engineerly inclined. Like if you're in engineering right now and you're fighting tooth and nail to graduate and you're trying to figure out how to pay for next semester, I mean, the, the, the experience that you're going to get after four years in the Navy as an officer, be it on a nuclear submarine, an aircraft carrier, or, you know, doing something else nuclear field related, it's, it's paramount, man. It's, it's undefeated. Like, those four years will set you up for the rest of your life um, as far Absolutely. as getting a job, as far as the experience, as far as the leadership potential, right? Like you're going to lead a division. You're going to understand leadership when you get done with that job. 